Hey, how's it going? I'm Kevin and I'm doing here a review of FM8. Now, FM8 is not a new synthesizer. It's been around for quite a while. Um, it's by Native Instruments. They sell it standalone or you can get it with complete, with one of the complete bundles. And it's, um, you know, it's not something that I think people talk about a lot, but this is a very powerful synth. Um, first thing that's kind of great about it is you can get a lot of sounds for it because you can actually load the old DX7 presets onto this guy. DX7 is a synthesizer from the 80s. It was pretty much the first digital synthesizer. And of course it uses FM synthesis. Now FM is, is very much different than subtractive synthesis or pretty much anything else. It sounds unique. It sounds like nothing else. It's capable of making sounds that do sometimes sound like uh, natural things like bell sounds. It does really well and electric pianos that sound pretty close, but you can kind of tell they're FM. But it has a certain ability to make a very unique timbre. And if you like that timbre, which you should because it's great. I love it. <laughs> but if you like that timbre, then you, you have to get an FM synthesizer. And there's always, I mean, there's so many soft synths out there. I can't even keep up. Um, but as far as the ones that I've tried, this is this one's good. This one's great. I, it might be the best. I'm not sure. Certainly, as an evolution of the um, DX7, and as a synth that can play DX7 presets, um, I think it it is it is very good and and the best um, thing going for that. So why should you be interested in FM? Well, if you don't like the sound of FM, <laughs> then maybe you shouldn't. But let me warn you, the this particular synth is extraordinarily flexible. Now, these particular sounds are just unmistakably from the DX7. But um, when you pick this guy up, it comes with a bunch of um, sounds that kind of go beyond what... The, especially what the DX7 could do because it didn't have any effects. And um, in the engine, they have um, recreated the um, the engine from the DX7, but added to it and given it more capabilities. So if we look at the um, the expert mode, mode here, we have six oscillators. That's what the original DX7 had. Um, but instead of having algorithms that you can choose from, like the DX7 had, we can freely route things from, from one uh, operator to, the, to another, change the levels, and so forth. So once you understand what you're doing, it's, it's easy to program. Um, it's not necessarily easy to predict what you're going to get, but if you start working with a bit, you will be able to kind of understand what you're doing. And, and get some pretty cool sounds out of it. But let's listen to a little bit of the library of sounds here. Um, you got some lead sounds. Let's just pick one at random. So that sounds, you know, fairly analog-like. So this thing is capable of giving you some kind of more analog sounds that sound like subtractive synthesis because it does have filters instead of just having um, the FM um, oscillators. It also has a filter and a noise generator and a distortion section in the, the main engine. So it can do sounds that are impossible with the, the older hardware there. But as we go through, You know, this doesn't sound like an FM synth necessarily. And 
we get down into the low section here, you can kind of hear that FM timber in there. And, and that's great. I like that sound. And I like the fact that it, it gives me kind of that analog sound, but then it gives me that FM character in there. So I think that's valuable. And if you like sounds that are you know, different than the mainstream sounds and you want to be able to make some weird things happen <laughs> with your music, um, have some variety in your, your um, sound set. This is a great way to go. Um, and again, like it's not super difficult to program, but it's not the easiest to program, but what they've done is giving you this easy mode here. So if I want to make this sound brighter, I can do that, or I can make it more. We could change the harmonic level here. which is nuts, I love that. And then there's this um, morpher here. So incredibly insane and awesome in my opinion. This is one of my um, most highly recommend since um, if you already have it, start using it. And if you don't have it, you know, pick it up. I think you will not be disappointed. I think you'll love it. Um, and keep in mind, if you do have it, you can get on the internet and get some free banks from different, uh, you know, Yamaha FM synths. And this guy will pretty much load any of those. So, like here I have the factory presets for the DX7 and the DX11 and the DX200. Um, this one was used a lot. Uh, in some cases still is for techno and things like that. So that's a great synth. Use it, enjoy it, get it if you don't have it. And have fun with your music. Subscribe and enjoy. Thanks.